Hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel Luminous Guide. This will again be another session of the talk with uh, you all. And um, the ones who are always uh, sharing, subscribing, liking my videos and posts and commenting if you are. Thank you very much. And the ones who are new, welcome to my channel. This is Luminous Guide. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Now, I just want to share a thought. Um, as usual, I don't come really with an agenda. But uh, <clears throat> so somewhere I read this quote. I think was it on Facebook or Instagram? I don't really remember, but it was there at the back of my mind. And I wanted to share it with you because I have been in that crossroad earlier in my life, you know. And it said something like that. I, I, I cannot say it verbatim, but it said something like that the most difficult part or the most challenging part is to um, to decide uh, if you want to try harder or you want to move on I think it's something like that I I don't know if you're trying to get this or have you seen such a post if you have then uh, can you please type it down or if I do come across that again I may type that down for you guys but it's something like that that says that you know the most difficult part in life or the most challenging uh, part in life is to decide whether you wish to uh, try harder or move on now I definitely did see that part that was talking about relationships whether you want to give up on a particular relationship or you want to try harder being with that person but that can be applicable to so many situations in life right um, not just relationships so for example a lot of people in the carpet industry they tend to they tend to leave a job a great job that they love so much is because they don't really get along with their bosses or the bosses are uh, narcissistic as as holes you know what i mean or um, you know something or the other i mean i'm a lady boss so i i know how things work and i have reached the entrepreneurship in a, in a way where I have never, I did not have to, uh, you know, I did not have to lay my principles on a loose. I always had my standards and principles maintained, if you know what I mean. So imagine uh, we as women think like that, then imagine the men, they must be going through so much of hardship, right? So that's that's like a topic for a different time. But coming back coming back to what I read which says uh, oh god my hair is so messy as always so I'm sorry about that um, so which says that you do not know the most challenging bit is uh, whether to try harder or to move on so let's take this in perspective of a relationship because I was in crossroads just in recent past if I could think about it that um, did I want to try harder or did I want to move on? And believe me, I tried damn hard, okay? Because I'm a person who believes in giving a fair chance and I'm a person who believes in giving my all and 100%. So I tried damn hard. But then, if I'm trying so hard by sacrificing and losing my principles, which does not add value to the profoundness of my life is that trying hard even worth it that's that's for you to think okay that's absolutely for you to think so coming back to what i'm trying to say is how do you simplify this in your life there is no simple way but what you could possibly do is uh, we are not doing MBA studies, right? We cannot sit and do SWOT analysis, what's a loss and profit. But the only analysis that we can do here, how do we feel positioning ourselves in that situation? We feel lost, we feel in a crossroad. And when you're in a crossroad and you do not know whether to get, go left or to go right, you gotta take a moment and you gotta sit put okay you gotta sit put and do an analysis go into introspection i always keep saying go into introspection you need to go into introspection and think if it comes to relationship is this relationship making me happy 
A. Is this genuinely what I'm looking for? Not the person, leave the person aside. The whole relationship I'm talking about. Am I the only one who's sacrificing too much? What are the red flags? Are there any red flags? And believe me, if there are no red flags, you will not be in this crossroad. Believe me, uh, if there are no certain situation, you will not be in this crossroad. It's not always uh, that, you know, the person is too much in love with you, but because parents are not wanting them to be married to you or something. There could be so many other reasons, right? Let's, let's talk about matured individuals here. So get into that introspection and feel how do you feel. And believe me, towards the end of that introspection, you will really know the answer and 110% of the time it will be move on because if something does not give you your mental peace if uh, again relationship job situation anything does not give you your mental peace mental mental peace and you have to lose your mental peace to be in that situation all the time it is not worth it you have to amicably move on or move on okay so I hope that kind of helps you understand that when you are in a crossroad and you have done your best and you've tried really hard uh, there is no ways you want to give this person or the situation a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth chance what are you doing is you're doing two things you're telling universe a that I'm used to being at the receiving end right that's what is a universal message that's the vibration that you're sending into the universe because uh, universe does not understand the language of English Marathi Hindi uh, Malayalam Spanish Mexican and all of that uh, universe understands the language of vibration right so when you're happy they want to multiply your happy happiness by giving you more happiness right if you're sad uh, universe is saying it's okay for you to be sad right I'm talking about situational basis so if you are going to show you uni universe that you are a dustbin then you will keep attracting damaged people who will be damaging you and you will remain a dustbin but if you show universe that I thrive I, I, I am a person of a certain significance I have principles values morals I do not settle for anything less then that's the vibration that you're omitting out there a to universe and in future whenever you meet somebody you will meet somebody with that vibration if you have not met somebody with that vibration that means you still have a lot of work to do okay and the second thing is what you're trying to show the person in third dimension world the person whom you're dealing with that it is okay for you to be a doormat you're not a doormat you're a human being okay so so think about it you you people gals and guys and guys and gals think about it and believe me i have been in that situation in the recent past uh, you have to learn to forgive that situation you have to learn to first accept that things like that has happened forgive yourself okay forgive yourself it's very important for you to forgive yourself forgive yourself for you know going through that pain that you have gone through forgive yourself like just you can just suddenly cut off if you can then that's great like hook, hook me up with how do you do that and then forgive the person forgive the situation try to work on your healing and try to work on raising your vibration at a level that the next person that you meet in life if at all you do or if you're happy single great for you you meet in life also emits the same uh, sun the light the aura the love that you emit because um, believe me uh, people with standards will never stoop low right and I did that for a momentary lapse thinking it's love but maybe it's not really love maybe it's the way of universe telling you that you have it in you to give so much of love so just don't roam with a water of bucket just you know like what do you say just like kind of giving it for free your love is not to be just given your love is to be cherished it, it is there it is meant for someone who understands how profound your love is right 
so i uh, i love talking to you guys and i love giving you scenarios of real time uh stick with me for more um you know awareness on mental health for my tarots i do take personal readings i have minimized a bit uh, because of a lot of work but uh, stick with me for that um spread your love by uh, you know liking this video sharing it with your friends you never know who need who really needs these words of motivation it's absolutely free and connect with me at any time that you want to uh you have my support for helping you get there mentally and loving yourself and being the awesome person that you are i love you all till we meet again Bye bye